Hi and welcome to this DCP work tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut out a person from a photo using Adobe Photoshop Magic One Tool. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I've got two images that I've done that downloaded from Unsplash. So we've got this one of this guy on the skateboard and we're going to cut him out and then place him on top of this image here, right? Something like this. So let's go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop and the first thing we'll do is grab the skateboarder and drag him into Photoshop. So we've got the skateboarder guy here. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and just zoom in a little bit. And we want to use the magic wand tool in this tutorial. So let's left click here and select the magic wand tool. And I'm going to set the tolerance to 50. So set the tolerance to 50, turn on anti-aliasing and turn on continuous here as well. Turn these two options on and we're just going to click somewhere around between the face and his knee right somewhere like on the sky here let's click around here so that will do a an estimated selection in photoshop but we want to grow that selection so let's go to select and let's click grow and that's going to grow out the selection we're going to have a few things to fix afterwards but most of our selection of this person is done we need to do a few fixes after this so we want to now really move over to the quick selection tool because we've done you know uh, Photoshop's uh, magic wand tool has done a lot of the work for us but we need to still do a bit more work so we want to click on here and just grow the size of our brush we're going to make it quite large and we want to um, add to the selection so we need to select this option here add to selection and we can paint in the rest of this sky to add into the selection and all of that's gone and we can paint in all of this bottom down here to add to the selection and all of that has been dealt with as well. So now we've got a rough selection around this guy. We just need to really tidy it up a little bit. So let's just hold down the Alt key and zoom in and we can see where the problem is. I want to zoom in onto his hand first and we want to make this brush a lot smaller, right? So let's make it a lot smaller. Uh, we want it to be pretty small. So I'm going to say it's around size six. And what we want to do is click on the minus tool here, the minus selection. And we're going to click inside here and add in some of this guy's hand we want to capture all of his hand you can just like left click on the fingers and photoshop's pretty smart right it knows that you want to add that to the selection so we're adding his hand here and you can zoom in closer and get more accurate if you want but i think that's pretty good i hold down the space bar we're going to move down you can see that we need to add in this part of his hat here so photoshop hasn't really captured that piece of information so when once you um uh, click roughly around the hat it should add in the rest of it and we're going to capture all of this stuff here right on the hat so just draw wherever you see like the marching ants inside of the the, the, the person you want to click on the outside edge just to make sure you get that selection let's just zoom in here quite close and we can use the selection tool here just to tidy up this little bit here just get it a bit cleaner the edge that looks pretty good let's move to around here we can tidy this up a little bit here and this selection around here is pretty good so let's just uh, undo that so if you make a mistake like you click outside and you don't want that selection just press ctrl z and we use the space bar and the left key to just get that selection a bit better around the edge in here so it takes a little bit of time and you can spend as much time as you want on this um, but we're going to do a pretty quick job here this looks pretty good so we'll select around here, get the rest of his knee in. And remember, hold down the space bar and use your left mouse button. We're just going to go around the edge and just make sure everything looks pretty good. Down here, we've got a few problems right on the hand here, you can see. So let's just grab the rest of his hand in here. And that's all been selected. So that looks pretty good. And we need to get this bit here as well. And around the skateboard, it's done a pretty good job, right around the edge. So we're looking at this dotted line around the edge just to make sure everything is selected there. That looks good, but this foot needs to be fixed. So let's grab this part here. Right, we're just left clicking and drawing inside all of this stuff here. Let's just left click inside and it will do a pretty good selection around there. Let's grab all of this. So I'm just left clicking, holding down the left mouse button to tell Photoshop I want that to be a part of my selection right so that looks pretty good we just need to tidy up in here a little bit 
So let's click inside here, grab that part, but we want to cut out this middle part. So we're going to use the plus tool um, to add to this selection. So we're going to select inside here and Photoshop. If you just like left click once in this sort of yellow space and just keep left clicking around here. And then you can just hold down the left mouse button and Photoshop will give you a pretty good selection inside of there like this. That's normally how I do it and that looks pretty good. So we'll just click down to here as well. Right. And that looks pretty good for a cut. And we can tidy this up using um, the layer mask afterwards. So this looks OK. I think that's pretty good. Let's just check this face. Looks good. The hand looks OK. I see there's a little bit of his finger missing here. So we should try and get that. So let's click the minus and grab his finger here. Let's make sure we get the finger there. And I think we're pretty good. Yep, that looks all okay. We can see a few issues here on the t-shirt, right? So let's just um, left click and make sure we get all of that t-shirt in there. And any sort of marching ants inside of the, the person, you want to make sure that you um, grab those as well. So that looks pretty good to me. Now we can use this to create a layer mask we've cut basically around this person now right but we want to invert it because right now what we're doing is we're selecting everything outside of this person and we want to invert the image invert the selection basically so let's go to select and inverse here and that will do the opposite now we're only selecting the person and not the background so now we can just unlock this layer and click on the layer mask here and that gets rid of the background right so that's that job done now we can go ahead and create a new image. Let's create a new image and we're going to set it to 1920 by 1080 at 72 DPI and click create. So we've got a little blank sort of image here and then we can just drag in our um, sort of skyline, this sort of skyline picture, hold down the shift key and the, uh, the alt key and then we can grow out this selection or grow out this image, something like this with the sun in the background, maybe something like that. We can go back here, click on this layer, press Ctrl C or Command C on the Mac, go over to this layer here or this new image, press Ctrl V or Command V on, on the Mac, we'll click here and we'll click on this image, let's just move it and then hold down the Alt key so you can zoom out and now you can see the handles, so you can grab them and hold down the Shift key to constrain the, um, the resize so it doesn't squash and stuff, right, when you hold down the Shift key. Maybe we'll get his hand around this sort of sun shape in the background here, right? This lens flare. So something around there would be pretty cool, right? So there you go. This guy's flying in the sky. He's doing all right, isn't he? So that's just a little bit of um, a tutorial showing you how to use the magic wand tool. It's not perfect, but it's done quite a bit of the job for us um, quite quickly, right? So we've got a main selection using the Magic Wand tool and then we tidied it up using the um, Quick Selection tool. So that's how you can bounce between these tools to get a good selection around a picture. And you can take that picture and put it into another image like you see here right now. Let's save our work. Let's just go to File, Save As and we'll save our work. Might as well save it. It's not going to hurt. And we'll just call this, uh, let's just call it Cutout-01. And let's export our work and we just save it as a JPEG file JPEG here let's click export and we'll save that as well and the reason why I did it at 1920 by 1080 let's just save this and close it we don't need this image anymore even though it's got the cutout in it we don't need it because we copied it to the other file remember so we've got the cutout in the, the other one but you can save this if you want as a separate file if you choose to do so and then we've got our uh, skateboarding guy here, right? On this background. So now it's at 1080p resolution. I can just right click on it and set it as my desktop background. And there you go, right? So that's why I created at that particular size. Let's just put back my original image. Uh, set that one as the background. And that's how I create these background, des desktop backgrounds um, 
for uh, these tutorials as well so just make sure they're at the right size okay so that's how you go about cutting around a person using Adobe Photoshop magic wand tool it doesn't have to be a person it can be a product it can be any type of image as long as you know there's a good contrast between uh, the, the main image and the background so you can see there's a good contrast between this person and the background behind it that's where the magic wand tool um, is pretty useful okay let's close this down that's the end of this tutorial hopefully you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial <laughs>